Issue number two of Suicide Squad at Kill Arkham Asylum. This is a five-part series that is the prequel to Suicide Squad at Kill the Justice League. Basically, everything that happened before where we are in the game today. Now, each one of these issues, you do get an exclusive weapon doll. We did a video just like this for issue number one. We even did a separate video of us reading the comic and reacting to the comic, but this video itself is just gonna be about claiming the exclusive weapon doll and showcasing it in the game. Now, in order for you to obtain this weapon doll, well, first, you need to find the actual comic. And if you are in the United States, it's probably gonna be a lot easier, especially if you're in a big city, it's probably gonna be a lot easier to find one of these. You just, I live in Houston, and so there's comic stores everywhere. I just ran down to my local comic store, which is just a couple miles away, and I picked up the second issue. And so in this second issue, we're gonna have the Great White Shark weapon doll. Then once you do have your comic, you're going to flip to the very back of the comic and there's going to be this little sticker or a QR code and you just either go to WB Games Suicide Squad Redeem or you just scan the QR code and when you come into here, you have to have a WB Games account and you also have to have your platforms linked. So whatever platform you're on, whether it be Xbox, PlayStation, the PC, whatever you're on, then you're going to link your platforms and then the code that's in the comic book, then you're gonna hit redeem code. And then once you redeem the code, it's gonna say congratulations, you have now earned the following reward, issue two, Great White Shark Weapon Doll. Now, if you didn't see video one or issue one with the Victor Zaz Weapon Doll, that is what you get for issue one. These are coming out about the beginning of every single month, so about four weeks apart for each one of them. And so the next one is going to be a Scarface weapons doll. Now with issue one, Victor Zaz was in the comic. He was in the story. And I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't read it. Like I said, we did do a video not only on the weapon doll, but we did a video reading the entire comic and showcasing it with all of the illustrations and everything. So check out either one of those videos if you wanna see. But uh, he was in the comic, and so I'm gonna only assume, I have not read it yet, but I can only assume that Great White Shark is gonna be somewhere in here. All right, so here is the White Shark weapon doll attached. It says, I do not believe he is in fact a shark. And actually he's not a shark. Uh, he did get his name from before he became a super villain. He was like a money launderer and stuff like that. But either way, you know, this is what it looks like on the weapon. We have the bullet storm right here. Uh, pretty sick pistol, I will have to say. And it fits really well. I mean, it's really cool. I mean, I will say though, uh, to be honest, one thing I really like about it is how it's attached to, you know, like the holder, the holder, I guess, around it, the thing that holds it in place, at least the thing that holds the weapon doll in place, like uh, um, almost like one of those chains that you come across on like uh, the red carpet or something like that, or like when you're out at the club and it has that chain that comes across. Either way, that's kind of what hold, holding it up. But I was going to say that as far as, you know, whether or not these weapon dolls are worth it, I would certainly say that if you're only interested in the weapon doll, I would say no. I mean, it's $5.40 U.S. money for a comic book. And I personally think the weapon doll is the least exciting thing of all the weapon attachments and all of the things in the game. I don't even notice it when I'm playing, to be honest. I mean, I'm looking at so many other things that are going on, you know, in the world and so many other enemies and all that stuff. I don't have time to be looking at no weapon doll. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I, I will have to, of course, compare this to Gotham Knights because, you know, they did the exact same thing. They came out with a comic book series. And they, uh, you got rewards when you purchased this comic book and you would play whatever item you got from the comic book into the game. And so the rewards in Gotham Knights were a billion times better. And they had pretty sick weapon skins. They had pretty sick uh, actual skins itself. The, 
the main reward was an entire outfit for all of the characters. The comic book was based in the 1800s. And so, well, it flipped back back and forth from the past to the present. But the 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 skin, um, the outfits that it had was all like 1800 type style and superhero-ish. It looked really cool. And I really hope that we get something better than just these weapon dolls. But I will have to say, I really enjoy reading the comic books. So to me, it's worth it uh, because I do really like reading comics. The comic books is pretty good on the story. You know, check out the video soon. We will be reading the comic, you know, a live reaction, live read of the comic. And uh, to let you know what's going on, if you haven't, if you have no idea what went on in issue one, I would certainly check that out because we did do a video when we read the entire issue one. And this picks up right where it left off and all five issues supposedly are all, you know, is a prequel to what's where the Suicide Squad killed the Justice League started. I mean, here it is live in game. And to be honest, like I said, you really can't even tell that it's there and you really don't even pay attention or don't even notice that it's there because, well, uh, for one, why are you going to be looking at your weapon like that? when you're trying to fight enemies. I mean, it's cool cosmetic and stuff like that, but, um, and it's neat little addition. It'd be interesting to see what happens in the story. But other than that, I mean, I don't know. I'm really not a big fan of the weapon dolls. I think they're kind of silly. I would much rather have, you know, skins or, you know, heads or outfits or colorways um anything except a weapon doll because i'm not looking at the weapon when i'm shooting at you know all my enemies and stuff but either way that's the exclusive for this week the great white shark be interested to see how he plays out in the comic uh let me know in the comments if you got it and you know be sure to check out the video of the live read but other than that guys hopefully you did enjoy hit the thumbs up i'll see y'all next time y'all take it easy we're out